There are loads of paid services on the internet that allow you to feed in a bunch of PDF documents and use an LLM AI to ask it questions. Well, here's a free one on Replit that is taking the internet by storm. And not only will it answer your questions on PDFs you feed it, but it'll also analyze web pages and YouTube videos, which means you've got an AI chatbot buddy that can learn about and help you synthesize information about anything. Let's take a look today and get that spun up. So as ever with Replit, the first thing to do is to fork the template. The template we'll be using is the embed chain chatbot by our friend Taran GTO. Now he has very kindly ported his amazing GitHub project to a Replit template, which means you can get it spinning up and running in a few minutes. And all you need is a single API key to get it set up and running. Let's start by clicking use template. Now I'm going to make this private because I'm going to be putting my API keys in, but it doesn't really matter as long as you use the secrets manager. And straight away there, we've spun up a workable bot. Now the code in it is an example at the moment, but let's get it set up and working before we start exploring it. So let's check the readme. Now we do need an OpenAI API key, which you'll get from the usual place by going to OpenAI, clicking on your profile and getting your API key from there. If you haven't already got it, you can just generate a new one. But we do need to use the secrets manager in Replit for this because otherwise your key will be vulnerable to scraping and piracy and nobody wants that. See my other video on this exact topic if you want to find out more about that. By clicking on secrets, we can create a new one called OpenAI API key. And all we need to do is paste in our key there. Click save and you've got it up and running. Let's click run and see what happens. So the default code is for it to go off and get a copy of a YouTube video and allows it to ask questions of it. So let's ask questions. Oh, well, that's quite cool. It's working on that YouTube video. So let's change the YouTube video around and see how that's going to work. So I'm going to go and take this YouTube video, which maybe you've seen before, which is a video of me explaining how to stop leaking API keys. Let's change the address of the YouTube video in the code here. Let's remove adding the PDF files on the web pages. Let's remove embedding local resources and let's make the loop to ask the questions a bit simpler. Okay, this time it's gonna go off and get my YouTube video. So let's ask it a question. Let's ask, what is this video about? Well, that's pretty good. This video is about the importance of securely storing API keys and how to use the secret manager feature to safeguard them. It also mentions the consequences of leaking API keys and provides instructions on how to revoke and replace them in, if necessary. So let's ask a, a few more details here. And follow up. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we need to give it a little bit more input before we ask it that last question. But certainly this is pretty cool. It's learned a bunch of information from a single YouTube video and is now allowing us to interrogate the information. Let's see how we can change that to add other things. Okay, let's take the example code from the multiple PDF chat and let's see if we can see how it works with multiple PDFs. Okay, I'm going to remove the initial query there and I'm going to keep the loop but changing the loop to reference that variable name. So what this should do now, it should read in those three PDF files, analyze them, chunk them up automatically and then prompt us to be able to ask it questions in a loop. That while true loop is really nice and is worth keeping in any of the iterations of your program because you can keep asking it questions. Okay, well that's quite cool isn't it? So we put that question now and we're getting the answer. Well that's cool because what it's done is it's taken in and ingested those PDFs and these PDFs are PDFs that are just sitting on the open web and it's really helping us get some answers and interrogate that data. Now that is not to be overlooked. Some PDF information, especially things like investor reports are so huge and so difficult for a human to pass that being able to feed it to an AI and get that AI to answer questions on it for you and simplify the information and summarize it is a massive time saver. There are an infinite amount of industries that can benefit from this. How would we deal with local files then? Well, let's upload a PDF and see where we go with it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload the PDF for my camera, so the thing recording this. And I'm gonna ask it a question that's been bugging me for a long time. So, I'm just gonna get my GH5 user manual and I'm gonna upload it to my file system. Now I'm just gonna remove that bottom query and I'm going to remove these two and the link to the PDF file, if it's a local file, can just be the file name. So that's gh 5 usermanualpdf Let's run it. This might take a little bit longer to load because that's a huge PDF and there's a lot in it, which is honestly why I've never read through the entire manual. Now don't forget that the bigger these files are, 
the more calls to OpenAI's API are going to happen just to get it passed and just get it chunked properly. But Embed Chain is doing all the heavy lifting here. And this, in a moment, should allow us to see the contents of that. Well, that's quite a big one, 275 chunks there. But let's ask the question. How do I set the focus to automatic? And there we go. I've got the answer without having to hunt through that manual or to search for anything. What can I do about noise in the picture? <laughs> now, I don't know about you. I don't read user manuals unless there's a problem. And normally they're really thick and really complicated to get through. This to me feels like a revolution in an ability to understand. I now don't need to hunt through that user manual for things that look right. I can just ask this AI. I can ask our embed chain chatbot to help me out. Let's make up a problem. Now, that is impressive as well. We had a question, it gave a simplistic answer. I gave a bit more detail and it was able to follow up with another suggestion. This is totally blowing my mind. This talking to your PDFs, this chatting with them is amazing. And now the fact that you can spin up a REPL and add your OpenAI API key and you've got something that's going to work is absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's try this with access to a web page. Now all we have to do for the web page is change the type of file from PDF to web page. Let's change the name of the variable and let's give it a full website address. Now the Replit blog is home to a wealth of information and there are some really, really good technical articles about how we achieve different feats. The recent code search changes are amazing and Jake has written a great article here explaining it all. I want to get to the answer very, very quickly though. So I'm going to copy that address and let's paste it in as the location there. And let's run it. Let's going to take in that web page and chunk it like we've done before. Summarize the article in 200 words. <laughs> and that's great. I can get a summary of an entire long web page now very, very simply. And if I want more information, I can ask about it. So list visualization, I have no idea what that is. So let's ask it to explain. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Now, I feel very much like this is me asking questions to a person. And certainly the ability for me to extract useful and usable knowledge from it is of that same level. Think about asking a very knowledgeable person who's just read an interesting article to summarize the key points to you and then picking them up and asking them on key bits of information. The power here is amazing. And of course, it's not just about single YouTube videos. It's not just about a single web page. It's not just about one PDF document. You can combine together multiples of these document sources, as well as local knowledge, to create a chatbot that lets you ask information about anything. In fact, we could probably combine it with a simple web scraper to pull in entire contents of web pages, maybe even scan through entire local folders of PDFs to pull in large bodies of documentation and create a chatbot that can work directly from there. Why don't you give Embed Chain a go by forking the Replit template linked in the comments below and see what you can do with the ability to ask information from PDF documents, web pages, and YouTube videos. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the only improvement we need here is a slightly nicer UI and a way of interacting and uploading files ourselves, maybe even plugging it in to our G drive. Maybe that's something I'll go and work on in the next few days. Maybe that's something you can work on, but whatever you do, if you're gonna take this template, remix it and do something clever with it, publish it to the community, share it with the rest of us. Let's iterate on it and get it to be something that's gonna be amazing for everyone.